If you have blackheads on the nose that aren't getting better, you need to watch this video. I'm Dr. John Barbieri, a board-certified dermatologist and acne expert. Let's get into it. Well, blackheads, sometimes called open comedones, can occur on the nose. Often they represent one of two other things. The first is something called sebaceous filaments, and the second is something called trichodysplasia spinulosa. Let's break down what those terms mean, what causes them, and most importantly, how can we treat them? Sebaceous filaments happen when dead skin cells and our skin oils called sebum accumulate in our normal pores. Although this can happen anywhere on the face, it more commonly occurs on the nose because the pores tend to be bigger in this area and the skin tends to be oilier. Now, some of you might be thinking, that sounds a lot like blackheads, like those open comedones. How can we tell the difference? Well, sebaceous filaments, because they're in our normal natural pores, they tend to be very evenly spaced on the face and they also tend to look very similar to each other because they're just following the distribution of our normal pores. In contrast, blackheads, open comedones, these are clogged pores. So they're gonna be a bit more sporadic, a bit more distributed. They're not gonna be evenly spaced and they're gonna feel a little bit different in their size. There are gonna be some bigger ones and some smaller ones. So those two key features allow us to tell them apart. The sebaceous filaments will look very similar. They'll be evenly distributed, whereas the blackheads are gonna be a little bit different in size and they're gonna be a little bit more sporadically distributed. Now, what about trichostasis spinulosa? What is that? It's when we get an accumulation of these tiny, what we call vellus hairs in the hair follicle. Normally, every follicle has a single vellus hair coming from it, just a little tiny baby hair. However, sometimes on the nose, a bunch of these can accumulate in the follicle and they actually start to become more noticeable, more visible. And if you look at them with a magnifying glass, you can actually see that they're tiny hairs, or if you use something in the dermatology clinic we have called a dermatoscope, you can see that these are an accumulation of tiny hairs in the follicle. That's what trichostasis spinulosa is. All right, so now that we know what these things are, how can we treat them? Well, when it comes to sebaceous filaments, we talked about there are two main things that are driving them. Those skin cells are getting stuck together and the skin is oily and those things are accumulating in our normal pores. So. We can try and help the skin cells from getting stuck by using things like prescription retinoids or even over-the-counter retinoids and retinols like Differin. We can use something like salicylic acid, which penetrates into the follicle and helps get rid of some of that oil. Things like CeraVe, Acne Control Cleanser, if you want to use a cleanser, or something like Polish Choice 2% BHA, if you want to use something more like a toner. These can be really effective to help address those dead skin cells and that oil that's accumulating. And then finally, things like Fiori strips actually can be very useful because those can help to mechanically pull out that material that's accumulating in the follicles, these sebaceous filaments. Now, one thing that we do want to avoid though is using things that mechanically extract those filaments from the skin. Using things like vacuum suction or using things like extraction if it's not being done by someone who's very highly skilled. Because if you damage the pores with these techniques, if you mechanically and you physically try and get that gunk out by pushing on it, by pulling on it with a vacuum, that can hurt the pores. And if the pores get wider, well, this problem's gonna get worse over time. So you can get trapped in the cycle where you're getting sebaceous filaments, then you're using mechanically, physically traumatizing techniques to get that sebaceous material out. And then what's happening is you're hurting the follicles, you're making the pores wider over time, and the problem just gets worse and worse. And that's why I really lean more toward things like retinoids and chemical exfoliants like salicylic acid to more gently get that material out of the pore. For trichostasis spinulosa, we can use a lot of the same techniques to try to get that stuff to move out of the pore. So retinoids, some of those acne salicylic acid washes can be helpful here too. And you can also, with a very fine tweezers, if done very carefully, you can actually pluck them out and get those hairs out of there. And sometimes even using a hair removal laser can accomplish something similar. Finally, if these spots are just regular open comedones and normal acne, we can go to our go-to acne comedonal treatments. We can use benzoyl peroxide, we can use salicylic acid, and we can use topical retinoids like adapalene or Differin or Tretinoin. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like so that more people can see it. Check out our channel for more acne and rosacea content, and please subscribe to stay up to date with the latest. And then ask me about acne in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. See ya.